Coach, let's start with your team's furious comeback at the end. Final five minutes whittling a 22-point deficit all the way down to uh, just a couple of possessions. How'd they do it down the stretch? I just think being more aggressive. Um, you know, it's hard. It's, as we've seen this year, it's hard to play with the lead. So, you know, I mean, it's not easy to play with the lead. So I think we have ramped up our intensity and our, um, our pressure. Um, you know, I think a couple of scrappy plays went our way. Uh, probably a whistle or two that we hadn't gotten throughout the game. And, and you know, just enough to get it interesting. But, you know, at the end of the day, not enough. Um, this was a, a game that was really back and forth in, in the first half. No team led by more than three. Five minutes left in that first half. ECU goes uh, on a big run. What, what did you see there was the difference? I, I just thought we were disorganized defensively. I, I think, you know, we practice every day and the guys are really locked in and I thought we just lost focus. Uh, seemed to lose men a couple times and just wide open threes and I, I just... We just weren't locked in defensively when we needed to be, and it allowed them to get a, a stretched out lead. And uh, I was really disappointed with that because I haven't seen that. We've been really good at being able to change from one defense to the next and really be aggressive and in, in being creative with how we were approaching things, especially since guys out and all that stuff. We've had to be a little bit more creative, and they've taken to it really well. And then it was like we weren't being overly creative. We just weren't locked in on our, on our principles. You know, we talked about trying to keep those guys from getting in the paint and kicking out and I felt like multiple times we were guarding the guy in the corner and you know that guy like dove in to try to stop the drive which led to a wide open three it's like the exact opposite of the way we've been going over it and, you know it let them get some momentum a couple guys like Felton who you know makes shots but hasn't been like outstanding from three like that like he was today get a lot of confidence uh, Joshua Lusane, we talked about him. He had another solid game offensively with, with 16 points, really fueling, fueling the run. Powell kind of broke out today. He had 10 points, but 10 rebounds. Every time there's a rebound, he goes up with two hands and he pulls it down. So it's so valuable to your team. Yeah. Um, I thought Josh played pretty well. Um, you know, I think the four assists, zero turnovers in a game like that says a lot. You know, Jay, I feel like a lot of his stuff showed up late, but um, you know, obviously he's he's a really helpful player for us, but um, I think a lot of his stuff showed up real late, and we needed it earlier in the game, honestly.